Welcome to video 2, working with Publii. In this video, we'll be looking at how to change a theme and change the information in the footer, which is very simple to do. Now, this video is for one of my clients who wants to use a static site generator. And so some of the information here is very simple. But he is a non-techie, so hopefully this will help you out, Mark. So let's get started. Okay, let's go back into Publii. And here are our posts that we saw. Now, as you notice, I'm in the dark or night theme. And here, you can quickly switch back to the default white theme, which is kind of bright. I prefer the dark theme because my text editor is in the dark mode and it's easier for my eyes you know switching back and forth and also i do most of my work at night on early morning so this is much better for my eyes let's go back into settings and let's see what how you select a theme and you can see the current theme you can simply change the theme that you want. Now, I used to have Tech News installed, but I since deleted it, so I can show you how to reinstall it. Let's go up to Themes in the Settings box. As you can see, it just has a simple theme, which is a default theme. Now, you click on Get More Themes, it'll take you to the Marketplace, the Get public e marketplace and there are not as many themes like say Word WordPress has because this is not as it's a new fairly new CMS or static site generator and there is not as much available some of these are free and some of these are you need to pay for them so let's take a look at the National Art Gallery see it's 29 euros if you would like to purchase this particular theme let's go take a quick look through this theme here are the four examples that you can use as you scroll down so it's you just fill in the information if you're having some kind of art type of website Okay, let's go look at another one. Let's look at ProDocs. This is a documentation theme. It's also 29 euros. This is something you would fit your needs. Okay, and here's simple, the one that comes standard and out of the box with your public e install. And this one is free, as you can see. Let's take a look at how. Okay, I went back. Let's go back in and see how this theme preview, how this theme actually looks like or appears. As you can see, it just lists your blogs your post that you have with a header let's go back out and let's look at the theme that we're going to install which is also free it's called tech news let's preview this theme as you can see it has A very nice appearance with con ability to have a lot of content on your page. Okay, let's download this theme. Now, what we need to do is go back into Publii. E. Okay, back in Publii. E. In the hamburger menu in the top right corner, click on themes, then drag your freshly downloaded 
that new zip file into the box and your new theme will be installed into Publi. -E. And as you can see, I'm showing you how to how I got to this box. Now let's go back into settings. I select the new theme that we just installed here tech news now on install and use click on tech news once it is shown as your selected theme save settings and all your thumbnails will be regenerated for your new theme depending on how many images you have will depend on how long this takes. Once everything is completed, hit OK. Now we can see Tech News is installed. Let's take a look at our new theme. Save and preview. Now your new theme again is being rendered so it can be displayed in your browser at this time. So this is how the theme out of the box before it is even set up looks. So let's click, take a look at a post. Let's click on posts and let's look at the same blog that we've been using in this example. So let's take a preview of how it would look in Tech News theme, the new theme we just installed. And this is how it looks that new theme let's scroll to the bottom and just have overview of this post okay let's go back to the top and that's how this new theme will appear okay let's go back to posts and I want to show you something Let's select the same pose that we always have been using in this video series. Let's preview this post again. Let's go all the way to the footer. Scroll all the way to the bottom. As you can see, it has the generic part by Publii Static CMS. I think we would prefer to have our business name, organization name, or even just our website in place instead of this generic title so what we do is let's close this out let's go on your left column let's open up theme scroll down to custom settings and select okay themes let's scroll down to footer which i already have selected and there you see the exact same sentence that we saw in the browser and you have your own little text editor here in the footer you could put anything just by anything you want so let's change this to copyright 2020 and use my website as an example frontendtweaks.com and let's highlight that let's make it bold just for example purposes you can even place a link there if you want a url link let's give it a bold look okay you can make a put a list you can even put a head heading tag which i'm not sure why you would want to put a h1 h2 tag in your folder but it's available for you so let's save this and preview as it renders in our browser let's check out if the change was made so let's scroll down the page and there it is the exact same sentence that we typed in that footer text editor that we just saw seconds ago okay so let's take a look in a, a blog post see if the change was also made there so let's go back to posts and go back to uh, that same post I've been looking at. Let's preview it. Let's scroll all the way down. 
and there you go the exact same statement is posted in each blog and on each page in our next video 3 we'll take a look at more additional features and how to use them in Publii CMS